Well, this is a story that is, was told by Max Seller. He published it in the um, journal Psychological Perspectives in 1975. Psychological Perspectives is the journal of the Los Angeles um, Society of Union Analysts. And it was in one of the early volumes. Um, and Max Seller, if I, if I may just say a word about him, he and James Kirsch and um, Erich Neumann uh, were all Berliners. They were um, Jews who lived in Berlin and they all fled Germany in the 1930s. Uh, James Kirsch uh, left immediately after Hitler was uh, elected chancellor. He went to, he came to Zur uh, through Zurich and he went on to Palestine and then he left and went to London and eventually ended up in New York in around 1940. Max Seller was a friend of his wife's, a very close friend of his wife's, uh, Hilda Kirsch. Uh, also, he was, a, he was trained uh, in jurisprudence um, in Berlin, but didn't care for that profession. And so gradually he had some analysis with a man named Fenichel. Uh, Fenichel, a very uh, well-known psychoanalyst, and then he shifted over to um, a Jungian in Berlin, uh, finally worked with um, Heyer in Munich. And Heyer was a close uh, colleague of Jung's. He got a bad reputation because he uh, was a member of the um, Berlin um, Psychological um, academy that was run by uh, Goering, uh, but he was not an ardent Nazi, and he helped um, uh, Zeller leave Germany. He gave him a letter of uh, authenticity or authentication that he could work as a therapist. Uh, Zeller and his wife, uh, then her name was Laura, she was uh, 10 years younger than he, they left and went first to England, lived in London for a while, and then because they were good friends with uh, the Kirsches, they also went to Los Angeles. And James Kirsch and uh, Max Seller founded the Los Angeles Institute in the 1940s. So uh, he was a very important figure in Los Angeles, Seller was. And at one point, I think it was in the 1950s, he came back to, uh, to Europe to visit uh, Zurich and he had a session with Jung and he brought Jung a dream um, and he wanted Jung's comments on his dream. It's a kind of prophetic dream. I quote it, uh, he, he wrote about it in Psychological Perspectives, that 1975 article. Um, and I quote it in my book, um, Jung's Treatment of Christianity, on page 188. Let me just read what Zeller says, because uh, it's very interesting. Um, and what Jung, what Jung uh, uh, says in response to it. Um, Zeller's dream was this, a temple of vast dimensions was in the process of being built. As far as I could see, he wrote, ahead, behind, right and left, there were incredible numbers of people building on gigantic pillars. I too was building on a pillar. The whole building process was in its very beginnings, but the foundation was already there. The rest of the building was starting to go up and I and many others were working on it. Then Jung responds to that dream. And it's interesting how Jung interpreted it. How would you interpret it if somebody brought you that dream? Uh, I'm not sure I would go where Jung went, but uh, Jung took it as a kind of religious prophecy. And here's what Jung said. That is the temple we all build on. We don't know the people because believe me, they build in India and China and in Russia and all over the world. That is the new religion. You know how long it will take until it is built? I said, uh, Zeller says back to him, how should I know? Do you know? Jung, Jung says back to him, I know. So I asked him how long it would take. He said, almost 600 years. Where do you know that from, I asked. He said, from dreams, from other people's dreams and from my own. This new religion will come together 
as far as the eye can see. So um, Jung took that as a prophetic dream that a new religion was quietly being assembled by many people all over the world. Mind you, this would have been before Jung's death in 1961. In the 1950s, that was the height of the Cold War. It was a very tense period uh, in Europe, and he had very little access to people in China, India, and uh, Russia, but he had traveled to India. Uh, he had known uh, 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 Richard Wilhelm, who spent 20 years in China as a missionary. He had some patients from Russia in the 1920s, so he had contact with those parts of the world. And I guess he felt that um, now at the end of the age of Pisces, uh, a new era was opening up and beginning. And as in the previous transition into the age of, into the age of Pisces 2000 years ago, it took about 600 years for Christianity to solidify and come together and formulate all of its doctrines and uh, structures. So maybe he had that in mind with his 600 years, but he says he bases it on dreams that he's had and that patients have told him. What that new religion will look like, he doesn't say. We don't know. Will it be an extension of the previous religion somehow coming together, assembling a new uh, multifaceted um, construct? Or will it be something altogether new? We're... Uh, not even, we're about 75 years after um, Max Zeller had that dream, so we still have uh, 400, 525 years to go <laughs> until we see the final result and know if Jung was correct. <laughs>